Now, despite the pressure he's getting right now, President Biden has been emphatic that he will remain in the race. And tonight at 11.30 on our new political show, The Pulse, will be tackling the question, should the president actually drop out or should he stay put? Or perhaps wait until August to decide. Just scan the QR code on your screen. You can vote on our poll right now. The president has visited Michigan three times this year with his most recent trip in May when he was a keynote speaker at the Detroit NAACP's annual dinner, Freedom Fund dinner, rather. The president has enjoyed a good deal of support in the city of Detroit in recent years. But is the tide turning right now as we speak? We took to the streets to find out if people of Detroit still believe in him don't really need to hear anything particular from him. I'm just impressed by his age, and I still believe that he can still run the country. I don't think there's anything he can do. They're in damage control right now. I think in the end, they're going to have to do something to get rid of them because they're not, they're not going to be able to win. And I would still rather have Biden over Trump any day. That's how much I hate Trump. I will vote for Biden. Again, the president is scheduled to speak beginning at 6.30, and we're standing by for that news conference right now. But right now, Oakland University political science professor Dave Dulia joins us with more on just how important the speech will be for the president. We always, obviously always thank you for joining us. And uh, your expertise is so interesting to me based on so many years of watching all of these unfold. We've never seen anything like this. What do you expect to hear at 6.30 tonight? Well, this is a, another historic moment in an already historic election cycle, right? This is like no presidential election we've ever seen. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not sure what to expect tonight I, and I, at 6.30. I think that this is such a, 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 a nationally focused, incredible scrutiny on this. The president has to be at his best. Anything less... And you're just going to see more and more calls for him to step aside and get out of the race. And even if he does well, I think you might still see some folks say, you know, we've seen enough. One solid performance isn't quite enough to, to make me change my mind. And we've seen so much this week from Hollywood with George Clooney asking him to, to step aside. And now in our own state mm -hmm. with uh, our congresswoman here saying, look, it's time to time to go. Um, how much do you think that is impacting his decision? Oh, I don't think that the uh, outside noise is impacting his decision at all. I think that uh, uh, the, the elected officials that are are making those statements in, in my view are are looking at their own careers looking at their own districts looking at their own reelections and and that's why they're moving away from President Biden but I think he is surrounded by a very small group of folks that he listens to and that's it but there's deep concern with the Democratic Party as you talk about those lawmakers were concerned about their own party Senate seats congressional mm -hmm. seats because if Biden falters and continues to falter their jobs are, their butts are on the line too no doubt and and you hate to say it or it's it's silly to say almost that it's more than just the presidential race that the Democratic Party is bigger than one president or one candidate in this case Joe Biden and they have all of those other down ballot races to think about and if if there's uh, a doubt or or an, an unenthusiastic Democratic Party that can affect dozens of races down the ballot. How does this look if he does drop out? We've never seen anything really quite like this. How do they move forward? How do they decide who sort of takes his place? What do you envision? Again, no, nobody knows. We are really in uncharted waters here. And, and I think that, that should he take that step, uh, one word, chaos. Well, chaos, and then the other word could be Kamala. And a, the, the issue that a lot of people have is delegates and donors. You need to have your delegates and your donors. Right now, the only person that can those delegates and donors can be transferred to is Kamala Harris. Is that true? Well, I, I think the, the, the Democratic Convention rules are so... Uh, arcane is probably the wrong word. Complex, mm. and 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 you know there are probably only a few people in the in the country that really know what what the the true rules are in that situation. The money is more clear cut. Yes, the only person who could get Joe Biden's uh, campaign cash is Kamala Harris. Uh, I think it's a, a bit dicier when we t start to talk about delegates.
Okay, very interesting. So, oh my gosh, it really is. It's um, uh, We can't take our eyes off it. And meanwhile, as everyone's looking to see if the president falters yet again, so many other issues that are really very important are not being discussed the way they should. And I want to add one thing. Just a few moments ago, President Biden, and they're not picking at him, but he was introducing President Zelensky, and he instead said President Putin when he introduced him and then had to correct himself. This is ahead of his 630 News Conference. Dave, you're going to be with us at, on the Pulse tonight at 1130. We're look forward to having you there. We'll check back with Dave again. Again, our poll question tonight, should he drop out, stay in the race, or wait until August to decide? Just scan the QR code on your screen right now to vote, and we will be bringing you those results throughout the night.